reality is, once that vulnerability was created, it was going to be in constant demand for breaking things in the future. Now, you might say, well, that's OK, because they could keep the vulnerability hidden and protected, and so the bad guys wouldn't get it. And my exhibit A against that is Wanna Cry, where shadow brokers posted the vulnerability on Microsoft systems, and they shut down the National Health Service. Even the US government can't protect some of the, of the tools and exploits that they put together. Stuart Baker. So what Mike is sliding over is that what the government asked Apple to do was to use a hole, a back door, that Apple had already built into its phones. Every, how, how many people here got a U2 album you didn't want on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was Apple using its back door into your phone, their ability to update your phone anytime they want to run any code they want on your phone. Now, that's a big security hole. We've heard everybody on the other side of the debate say, oh, that's a, that's a fatal security hole, and yet Apple has built it into your phone. They did a balancing. They said, well, on balance, we have to give you security updates. The only way we can do that is if we have this back door into your phone. So on balance, it's better to have the back door and to protect it than to have no back door, no ability to update your phone. And it's the ability to update the phone that the FBI had asked Apple to use, to then make a change in the code that would allow you to continue trying uh, combinations after the first 10. But that wasn't the secret that would have gotten somebody into, the, into a phone. The secret was how Apple guarantees that it up, its updates reach you. And that backdoor already exists, and it's being used for Apple in order to do good with security okay. updates. Do you want to take it, Michael? Because sure, I, yeah, I have I a mean, question. I, I, I don't want to get into bogged down into a factual discussion, but the key thing that they wanted that, that Apple didn't want to do was create a, an exploit that would then be updated that would change the operating system and remove the feature that says after you try a certain number of times, everything gets shut down and you're done. That was the tool they wanted to have created. And that tool, once it had been created, would have been something that would have been the target for everybody who wants to break into phones.